Hi, my name is Kaylee Dominguez, and today's date is August 12th, 2018. Eric Erickson was a psychoanalyst that was taught by Sigmund Freud. Um, he believed that there, every human had eight different psychosocial stages of development. And during each of those psychosocial stages, um, they had different crises that they would hit. And they would have to get through those crises before they could move on to their next phase of development. If they hadn't completed that crisis, then um, it would follow them throughout to their next stage in life, and um, they would have to get through it in one way or another. Um, the eight stages of psychosocial development were stage one, the trust versus mistrust, and this phase was from birth to 18 months. The second stage was autonomy versus doubt, and that's from 18 months to three years. The third stage, initiative versus guilt, from ages three to six years. The fourth stage, industry versus inferiority, from ages six to 12 years. Stage five is identity versus role confusion, from ages 12 to 18 years. Stage six is intimacy versus isolation, from during young adulthood. Stage seven is generativity versus self-absorption, and that's the middle adulthood. And then stage eight is integrity versus despair, and that's in late adulthood. I got my sources from, um, from Robert Slavin's textbook, Educational Psychology. Um, I would say that at this stage in my life, I'm in stage seven, the generativity versus self-absorption. Um, I would say this because I have three children of my own and I'm working day to day uh, to give them my all and to make sure that they're going to succeed and um, do well in life. Uh, I am constantly pushing them and even when I'm not realizing it, I'm teaching them. Um, I may not realize it until I see them um, copying things that I do or repeating words that I say, and then that's when I realize that they really are learning constantly. I believe that being in stage seven during my um, during my career, getting ready to become a teacher, it's going to be a, beneficial to me and my students uh, because I'm at the point in my life where I'm ready to teach and I'm ready to help others succeed in life. Um, I, um, I'm basically, this is my prime, my prime years to teach and, um, it's, it's just going to get better. Um, my students are likely to be at stage four, the industry versus inferiority stage. Um, when I'm te when I will be teaching them, I'm basing this answer on the stages on the ages of the students that I'll be teaching.
Uh, the stage could influence them in a couple different ways. Uh, if they're if they relate more to the industry part, then they're going to be wanting to um, please everybody. They're going to have a positive outlook on life and outlook on day to day work in the classroom. Um, on the other hand, if they struggle with the inferiority part of the stage, uh, they might not be as willing to participate. And then um, when they do participate, if they do something wrong, if they mess up on a painting or they um, answer problems wrong, they might not be w as willing to participate in the future and they might have more of a bad attitude. I base this off of Erickson's theory that children at this stage want to please people and are excited to be learning. But if the child does poorly on something, they may feel that they're inferior to the, their siblings or parents, and that will have a negative impact. Um, I believe that a disconnect that my students and I could have based on my being in stage seven and them being in stage four uh, would be that maybe I'd, I'd be at the point of pushing them a little too hard, more than they're comfortable with. Um, if they're in the infer inferiority part of their stage, then they might not agree with me pushing them, and it might push them away more instead of um, making them be more successful. Uh, this has been a real eye-opener for me. Learning the different stages helps me to be more aware of what I will be working with once I have a class of my own. Um, I, I can understand the differences in the, in the stages, and um, I, it helps me to be able to prepare.